Hey everyone, we recently stayed at Jellystone Williamsport in Williamsport, Maryland, right outside of Hagerstown, uh, for the first time. It was their last Halloween weekend of the season, and we had a great time. Um, this video will be in a pr fairly extensive tour um, of the campground. We shot it over a few days, and then I sort of reordered some of it just to sort of make it sense geographically um, in terms of where we were in the campground for each video. Uh, at the end, there's a little bit on the comfort stations. There are two different kinds of comfort stations at Jellystone Williamsport, as well as a tour inside the store. Everything else is sort of by area um, as we're going through the campground. So hopefully you'll enjoy this, and if you're looking you know, to sort of see what it's like at Jellystone Williamsport, um, hopefully we've done a good job for you. Uh, obviously it was November, so the water zone wasn't open, but I do have some shots in there and some thoughts on the size um, and some planned improvements they have coming as well. So enjoy. Hey guys, we made it to Jellystone Williamsport. This is Comfort Cottage 53. Um, I'll give you the little the lay of the land here. We're in a great spot. Actually, really good Wi-Fi signal. And um, Abby, our daughter, is going to do her her class for remote school tomorrow at one o'clock. Um, hopefully, knock on wood, that everything goes fine. And we, yeah, we brought a couple inflatables. This is a Halloween weekend, even though it's the weekend after Halloween. They're doing one more. Um, uh, we're not going to compare to, I'm sure, what we're going to see here this weekend site-wise. But we decided to at least bring a couple inflatables to be in the game. <laughs> and we are right across from the Cindy Bear Pavilion, where they do arts and crafts and candy bar bingo. And not far away, if I zoom in, you'll see through the water slides, obviously closed for the season. And down a little ways, a playground. And... Right over here, basketball courts. So really right in the middle of the park. Um, we should be able to walk everywhere, no problem. And again, uh, this is Comfort Cottage 53. We'll walk inside. Probably perfect for the three of us for a short stay. Ooh. See here, a nice small um, screened in porch uh, with a little dining table on it. So it's kind of nice since there's, there's not a whole lot of space inside. There's really no seating inside and the weather this weekend is going to be beautiful so this is a perfect place to come out and eat. And we'll walk inside. Basically you get the, the little kitchenette on one side, uh, microwave up top, good amount of storage, um, TV on top of the fridge, pretty much a full-size fridge. Um, maybe some people might call it apartment size but it's definitely large enough for a stay of this length. There's Michelle. Hi Michelle. And so the other thing in this room, obviously on this side, is the bed. So this is sort of the main room. That's a full-size bed in there. And then in here, hi Abby. Hi. We have a twin bunk, so twin over twin. And what, actually, I didn't show it on the full-size, but in here as well, there's some drawer um, drawers underneath the bed. So there's some storage space there. And then this does have a full bathroom, shower, um, no tub, but we don't really need that, obviously. Uh, trying to show you the shower. There we go. Walking in. It's kind of tight fit in part of this. It's all of our bathroom supplies hanging up. And that's pretty much it. Comfort Cottage 53. Jellystone Williamsport. So now we really are kind of almost in the dead center um, of the park and there's the gem mining area and the ticket hut ticket huts where you can get your tickets tickets for a lot of um things extra things here like laser tag and such and one nice thing about the gem mining here and it's different than the um different than some of the other jelly stones i've been to is that the gem mining bags that are for sale they actually have a display set up abby's wiping off the um dew um, that shows you the type of things that you get in each bag. So it's not, um, it's a little less mysterious, but it's actually good because then you can decide what might be best um, for your gem mining. I love how it's detailed. And over here, so this building is the store. Um, and like restaurant. And then over there is the canteen. So it's a little um, snack bar, restaurant type thing. These are premium loft cabins, and I would say that if I stayed here in the summer, um, I would love to stay in one of these because right behind the store, you can see the water slides over there, so you're right across from the water zone. Um, the arcade is through one of those buildings as well. And then that building there is the Cindy Bear Pavilion. It's the back side of it. It's kind of a one half open on the other side. Uh, we're staying right across from that 
and a comfort cottage. And that's where like Katie Barbingo and all the arts and crafts and stuff are. So if you stay in one of these um, cabins here or where we are, or you know maybe some of these you see the RV sites kind of poking through in this area, you are next to almost everything. Um, <laughs> obviously there's some like the pedal cart track and a few other things are at the edges of the campground and the mini golf is towards the front, but none of them are much of a walk from here. I would, I could probably stay here for however long and if we stayed in this area of the campground, uh, there would be no need whatsoever to rent a golf cart, unless you have, you know, um, mobility issues in your party or something like that. But in terms of just uh, sort of, uh, for the most part, healthy adults and children, uh, no need whatsoever for a golf cart rental if you're staying here in the middle of the campground, again, because so much of it is right here. And then even the things that are on the, the outskirts in either direction are not a far walk at all. We're talking, um, you know, five minutes or less, and that's at a leisurely pace. So, so this is the um, one side of the water zone and there's pretty nice water slides and then you can see the little pirate ship that's like a splash area. Um, if you've been to Lou Ray or Quarryville, I would rate that, I mean, again, they're not on, but from the looks of it, um, it not as extensive as the Quarryville splash zone, um, but more, certainly more than the splash zone at Lou Ray. Um, the thing that's a little strange here is there's a small pool at the end of the water slides but it's, it's not very large um, and this is the main water zone area and then there's another small pool at the front of the park called the ranger smith pool so one obviously not all the swimming pool water stuff is in the same area so that's um potentially a drawback for people and two there isn't really one large pool um this is a couple small ones and then the splash zone and the water slides the water slides are obviously great now what we're looking at here is right now a deflated jumping pillow um but the reason that this is all sort of leveled out and there's some dirt and stuff around as Abby will tell them tell everybody what they're building here they're building the lazy river so they're they're putting in the lazy river where this jumping uh pillow currently is and it looks like I mean it's not going to be very large um but it will be cool obviously and a great addition to this park um right now I'm gonna say that for sure it's taking up this space that we can see where this this fencing is all the way through the end of that dirt now I don't know if they're going to take out the trees um and that's maybe another to the side there to the road uh i don't know maybe 10 to 15 yards so if they did take out those trees and expand it it still wouldn't be large but obviously a nice addition um given the fact that the water zone right now is sort of the the little splash area those great water slides and then the small pool so adding the lazy river in would would certainly be an upgrade here this is the second playground that we are showing and another dump pillow that's not underground yeah, not, it's not inflated. They had this running yesterday, um, so this is still operational. Um, the, the jump pillow, this is the smaller, the jump pad that they'll have going. And I don't know, once the Lazy River is done, um, if they'll move the jumping pillow, the larger one, over here. It would probably make sense. Yeah, the big kid playground is a little bit more extensive. Just like this. I'll, I'm glad that they did put this for the kids. Yeah. But it's really hard to do. Once I started once I started it, it was hard. And over here as well. Uh, the Gaga Ball pits, if you've ever been to a Jellystone, you're probably familiar with Gaga Ball. It's kind of like a, a, a low-risk version of dodgeball. It's all below the knees, and you just go to swat at the ball, and it's uh, sort of every person for themselves. Uh, I think you play. I've never actually played, but I think you pretty much play until there's one winner left. And a little, um, I think that's just a sandbox, frankly. It's just a little sand pit. And the, for little kids to play in. For little kids to play in, Ab? Okay. Yeah. When you try to get up from that side, it's really hard and it just keeps falling. Oh. There's another view of the water zone in there. And th these little buildings um, are the cabanas. Um, all the Northgate jelly Northgate owned jelly stones, if they don't already have them, are in the process of adding them. Um, it's another revenue stream, <laughs> to be honest. They're nice little sort of private areas that you rent for the day uh, by the water zones and with some furniture. I think most of them have TVs, uh, ceiling fans, stuff like that. This is my favorite thing if like kids want to try out the big thing. It's not that hard, you just gotta 
trying to walk up. And then there's also the regular thing. But the most frustrating thing to me is like, there's a really hard monkey bars and I been and I want to try doing monkey bars, but this one has like no railings. Oh, I see. Yeah, that one's a that one's a pretty high end uh, monkey bar there. You love the rocks? If you look this way, um, you see all this wooded area and the, the front end of the campground is pretty much all wooded and then there's a um, sort of up a hill backside neighbor like area. I want to call it a neighborhood because frankly um, the campground is sort of divided into maybe five or six sort of areas or that we might call neighborhoods. The sand isn't wet. The sand? I am now going to go on the jump pad. And we're not far from um, a couple of the other spots where we took videos. We're just, again, on one side of the um, water zone. But right here is a sign for the movie they're going to show tonight, appropriately Yogi Bear. Um, that's the little amphitheater there. I actually heard that um, in addition to the Lazy River, they're upgrading their Wi-Fi, which has been, they're still in the process of it, but it's been fantastic here, especially compared to um, Luray and experience at Quarryville, although Quarryville, I, I know, was upgrading this fall too. And the other thing they're going to do is upgrade their amphitheater. So that's where the they do their movies right now. I don't know if they're moving it, if they're expanding it, um, what the plan is. But they did tell me they are going to upgrade that. And our cabin is over there. Yeah, we we'll swing around. Um, I don't think mom is out. That silver uh, SUV there is ours. And parked right outside the cabin we're staying in. I'll zoom out here. And down that path is towards the front of the park, and that's where we're going to head. Um, there's another playground up there and the mini golf. I love mini golf. You love mini golf? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Let's go. And now we're more towards, we're getting towards the center of the park. Um, and I'm going to show you this uh, bathhouse here. Comfort Station, I think they call them, not bathhouses. Um, these are similar to the ones, they have a few of these at Quarryville. And they're, they, I think they call them family comfort stations, but the nice thing is they're basically individualized, so in each one is basically a full bathroom um, with a shower and a sink and a toilet, so you could bring your little ones in there, um, and certainly more privacy than using your um, traditional comfort station. They do have a couple regular comfort stations here too, um, and then we'll swing around, some cabin types here. Uh, this is the Great Escape Lodge, which uh, smaller than those ranger retreats, but... Um, pretty large and, and nice so one of their more group um, lodging options and there's the the dog park right there the canine corral we're at the north end of the campground here at jellystone williamsport looking at the two ranger retreats those are the largest uh, lodging rentals and i think this is the north end i think i consider it the north end it's kind of the uh, the the upper end of the campground. There's Abby walking down the playground. There's three playgrounds here, um, and all sort of in different spots, so it's nice for people to have those options. Volleyball court, and a lot of RV sites up here, and some, um, we'll zoom in a little bit. Cabins kind of ringing the RV sites, some over there, and through here. Well, what are you on? A swing set. Okay, so there's the swings. What else do you want to show? There's monkey bars. Monkey bars. And something that we don't know what is. We don't know what this is. I think it's the thing we're supposed to stand and spin on. I don't know what it's called. That's exactly. All right. What else? What these are called. Some sort of exercise Dinosaurs. bar, pull-up bar. Stretchers? Oh my god. By sitting on that, I really just made my pants really wet. Yeah, oh, I can tell. There's like, like little pads. And then there's like a little risky thing that I call the risky 
be bright with my cousin. Mm hmm. And what's up there? There's a bunch of slides and then, and then there's stuff to get up. Mm hmm. That might be slippery right now, too. It is. Everything's slippery. This is why I never try this. I'm always like, is it gonna rain or something? Ah. I can just fall. But my favorite one out of these lily pads. They're really easy to get up. Yep. And then there's like a little tiny secret seat under here. Oh, look at that. I didn't know that was there. This is here at the last loop. The secret seat. Is that it? Hmm. We are going to explore a path that we think goes to the pedal carts. Yep, it looks like it does. That's the back shed. So this whole time we were here, um, we didn't think we could get from the top area where the, pedal carts. the one large playground and the volleyball court and stuff are directly to the pedal carts without going back through the middle. Because the first day... I saw this sign that says maintenance area, staff only, but that apparently goes a different direction. I thought it applied to this little road and saw these sheds and things back here and thought, okay, that's not a place that people are supposed to go. But we saw people going through. I was wrong. We saw people going through. Yep. And this this connecting path is not on the map. So if you look at the campground map, you would think the same thing I did, that you can't get from the lower area with the... Uh, laser tag and pedal carts up to the upper area, the newest area with the um, large playground and volleyball and uh, horseshoe pit and the ninja course on the other side of it. It's kind of a long path. Yeah, it's a pretty long path. But it's taking us right where I think it was going to take us. It's also kind of paved. Yeah, it's kind of paved. Yep, and I see the laser tag and the pedal carts and the pumpkin patch. Yeah, laser tag. So, so this whole time, <laughs> we were making this harder than it needed to be. You thought that this was just to stop in this. And I thought that this was literally just a path over here. Yeah. But it turns out it's not. Nope. The back side of the... I think that's the storage for the carts and maybe the archery tag stuff and just whatever else they need to store back there. Let us see. There we go. What? And there we are. We've come down here. All right, now we are at the pedal carts, which is Abby's favorite thing. Yep, it is, and we are here. Dun-dun. <laughs> Dun-dun. Archery tag and laser tag is here. Archery tag and laser tag are over here as well. Now, here's something, um, and again, I don't know if some of the, the carts are just in storage and not out. Maybe they'll be out this weekend. But the pictures look like there was a bunch of, like, the kind of carts that Abby is on and some even bigger that um, adults could ride. And the adults can definitely not ride the one that Abby's on, at least not adults of um, any sort of average height. But what they do have out are a bunch of these little things. <laughs> That you sit in and you sort of um, move, put your feet on the end there and move right to left to make them go. And even though they might not be for adults, uh, adults can use them. Uh, myself and Michelle, my wife, um, did these yesterday. I lasted about one lap. Um, they're a good workout. Um, Abby's going to try to demonstrate, I think, here. Getting off is the absolute hardest, especially if you're an adult. Yes. And see that Abby's got it going. And that's pretty much what you do. You just there's move your feet right to left. Too. And there are handles. So no fall. Okay. Um, and then beyond Abby here, there's a small soccer field. And some pumpkins. Right there. Um, there's places where you put your pumpkins. And I don't know what they use this, this small little patch for in the summer, but right now with the Halloween theme weekends, um, it's the magic pumpkin patch. <laughs> And you can come, actually later today, you can get some, buy some seeds um, from the Cindy Bear Pavilion, I think, and come over here, and you come over here, and you'll see the little spots marked. You put your seeds down, and then tomorrow morning you'll come, and magically, there will be a pumpkin. 
And over here um, is, I'm pretty sure this is just the laser tag arena. Over here, um, it's a decent size. Actually, yeah, I think it goes a little further back up the hill there. And there's the, the hut for it. And the archery tag is done over here as well. I'm not sure if that's in, like, the front field or I think there is a space beyond. No, that might be just for maintenance, the space beyond the pumpkin patch. So they might do that just sort of in the open field here in the front when they set it up. But they, they will have some times... I think this afternoon for archery tag, and then I know on Saturday, so maybe we'll we'll see it, and we'll have some more information on that. Here I come. And here Abby comes on the little. I'm not even sure what you call this kind of cart. It's that's not a pedal cart because there's no pedals, um, but it is person powered, right? That green one is a pedal cart. This is laser tag rules and archery tag rules. Yep, they've got the rules posted on the board. You could probably read the laser tag um, rules. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to make out in the video the archery tag ones, because it's written in red and blue. Um, but this is sort of uh, indicative of what I've been impressed about thus far while we've been here, is that a lot of things are posted. Um, you know, even here, they have the information. Stop by Gem Mining to buy the tickets um, for laser tag, because what I've noticed, um, you know, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to dog uh, Jellystone Blu-ray on this video, because I really like it there as well. Um, but compared to there, um, this campground is set up a lot more for you to be able to answer your own questions, essentially. That there's not an assumption that you already know what's going on. Um, because there's information posted everywhere. And again, stuff like this, that when you come up to play laser tag, for example, instead of having to just listen to whoever's running it tell you the rules, you can read them ahead of time. And they even have like little tips for laser tag. Um, and that's true everywhere. Again, we showed you on the gem mining, the fact that they have a display with you know, the kind of gems you can get in each bag. And again, there's several information boards posted throughout the park. And obviously, you know, we're here during the pandemic. Um, and so lots of these um, posted everywhere about social distancing and, and wearing a mask if you can't um, maintain a six foot distance. And obviously, if you're inside anywhere, you would definitely have to wear a mask. Um, right. Um, we don't have any on right now. We're out in the morning on Friday morning before everybody's rolled in. We <laughs> very few people out. Um, I still have school. Abby will be doing real one. She has one class today that she she will log on for. We got the rest of our work done during the week. So, um, but she will do her school today. We're on our way to the we're on our way to the mini golf. Um, but I did want to capture here are some of the uh, rustic or camping. I think they call them camping cabins here. They all the parks use different language. Um, that it really is camping. That do not have bathrooms. Um, originally, we were scheduled to take this trip in June, and then we weren't sure with everything going on what was going to be open, and we ended up rescheduling, and we came here in November. Um, ended up actually in a nicer unit because it was a lot cheaper uh, to go this time of year. Yeah, and cool. one of the things that, uh, in hindsight, <laughs> this yeah. delay was probably really good is that um, again, these ca camping ones don't have bathrooms and there is a comfort station not far away, but what the map, whether you're in satellite view in Google or whether you're looking at the campground map, what the map does not tell you <laughs> is that the comfort station is up a small hill here. Um, so if you need to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night <laughs> from one of these cabins, you are walking up that little gravel path in the dark. So probably a good thing that we did not stay in one of those. True. We're doing now. Yep, so we're here towards the front of the park, and Abby said we are going to do a little bit of mini golf this morning. Um, and that mini golf course, we'll walk a little bit over here, is right here. Um, it's in pretty good condition. Again, the ones I can compare it to are Lou Ray and Quarryville. It's definitely a lot more, it's a lot newer um, than Lou Ray's. Lou Ray's is, <laughs> it's a fun little course, but it's pretty beaten up. Um, Quarryville's probably still the best of the three. And if you can see beyond beyond the course there is where they keep the golf carts behind and there's actually oddly enough some tent sites on the back side of I think they were tent sites on the back side of the um, mini golf course kind of in an odd area right next to the golf cart storage and the building up front there oh it's actually the comfort station first and then there's a small building you can kind of see beyond comfort station that is the registration building so registration and the store here are pretty far apart um, some jelly stones, they're one and the same, or at least right next to each other. 
um, here, no, um, different ends of the park. That is the, thank you, Em. That is the third um, playground, well, we'll call it the third. It's the third one we've been to this morning. It's really the first as you, as you drive into the campground. And there are some cabins towards the front, even before you get to the registration um, desk. And a lot of cabins and RV fence through here. And I'm gonna pan way, I'm gonna zoom way out. Oh, I'm going in. What is happening? There we go. Um, because again, we're here for the fall and I mean, it's just gorgeous. And the front of the campground is entirely wooded. And again, there's a section up the hill. I don't know if we will get there. Um, it's all just cabins and some RV sites. Wooded like this as well. Um, so again, there's that back area that's totally cleared out um, with the large playground and everything. But there's this area, which in the summer, obviously great shade. Um, and in the fall, just beautiful foliage. So I'm not sure if we will come here in the summer at all, but for the fall, um, this is a fantastic place to stay um, if you like the, the um, fall colors. Here you go, Daddy. Thank you, Abby. I got you both for you. We are on hole number two, and Daddy didn't mention the pavilion. Yep, um, the Sydney Bear Pavilion is kind of where all the, the major stuff is, but this is the Yogi Bear Pavilion in the front. I'm not sure how often or what they um, use this for. I don't know the history of this campground, but it's sort of clear that things were added on as they went as, um, you know, this is a small pavilion that once upon a time when this might have been a smaller campground probably served as the main pavilion. Um, and now my guess is maybe this is for some smaller activities and things. Um, it's not like the Cindy Bear one in the, in the middle. And Abby's going to golf here on hole number two and, and show everybody how, how to mini golf. Well, <laughs> knocked it right off the course. <laughs> Daddy, it's your turn. I'll hold the camera. Oh my god, I'm bad at this. Let's watch Daddy's ball. Okay. We are exploring. Yeah, we're out again this morning. Um, we're going to walk through just a couple areas that we didn't walk through earlier. And a place that I didn't get to go that I wanted to explore. Yep. And this will seem a little more remote through here. And there's a, a site up there. Um, but it really isn't. Um, it's kind of on the back side of the main path towards the mini golf. What's that for? Um, I don't know. It's an interesting site. It's a full pad. But it's a square. There's the uh, kind of standard comfort station we peeked inside yesterday. Oh, I see a cabin. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's another cabin. Yep. There's, there's a couple of cabins oh, up the hill here. Daddy, Let me. Look at that cabin. Oh, that one's nicely decorated. We'll get down there. We'll get down there. Yeah, we'll get down. But let's we'll zoom in. Oh, cabin up there through the trees. There's a couple of them. There's a few cabins back here. I think these are the, um, this might be the two bedrooms um, yeah. back there. I'd have to look at the map. There's a few back there. And that's the one that's decorated. And straight ahead of us, there's another little group of cabins. It's kind of interesting. This this section back here, it's almost like a, a few different, I'm not necessarily cul-de-sacs because I don't know if they're all dead ends, but just sort of clusters of cabins. So pretty good option if you have, you know, say if you don't want to do like a big ranger retreat or something, and you have a large group and you want to rent several cabins, some of these areas you can, you know, probably rent every cabin in the little, the little group and have a family reunion or whatnot. And this, this area looks like it's got some cabins and a few RV spots oh. mixed in or pop-ups. Are we walking straight this way? Yeah, that one's like okay. the most decorated one I've seen. Oh, there's a sign for the um, hiking trail. Hiking trail. I'm not even sure. Down here. I guess that's the trail. Got their puppy. We um, oh yeah, someone's got their puppy. We did a hiking trail at Luray, and I'm pretty sure we messed it up somehow. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we, did. we ended up finding our way back to like this maintenance road and then I had to duck under like a do not enter sign and yeah. um, it was fine. It was nothing dangerous. It was just I was uh, so scared and then, and then my cousin was like, you're okay, Abby. 
Yeah, yeah. Abby was a little freaking out. She thought we somehow were in trouble. Um, I think they're going to be a bear. They're going to be like, something going to eat us? Yeah, and there were no bears. Um, just Yogi. But he wasn't on the trail. Another cabin coming at the top of the hill here. Yep, this is a nice little, neat little area. And it's a couple, at least a couple different cabin types, plus the RV spots. So again, if you had a group and you all needed something a little different, um, you could book back here. And I say back here, but when we walk down the hill, you'll see that we're not, like like any other area in this park, you're really not that far removed. Yep. Like tiny. A little pop up back here. Oh, that one has like a, like a That's thing. a very nicely decorated uh, Halloween like cabin back there. Down. This one has like a, like a something blocked in the sun. Mm-hmm. All these are really cool. Yeah. Hmm. I think. Yeah, I think we'll come out right near the um, the front comfort station and the registration um, building. But there's quite a few cabins lining this area here. And again, I think this is probably part of, you know, the original or at least early on. Probably somebody making breakfast. <laughs> I feel like I smell, like, some eggs. Eggs, probably, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's... This, I think, is part of the original. And again, you'll see here, you can see it obviously on the screen, how wooded this area is. And again, that's why I think this park oh God, that absolutely beautiful the for the fall. That person, like, kind of decorated their picnic table. Yep, they decorated their picnic table. At park, um, you know, we shot some of this yesterday morning, and obviously it was a lot emptier, and... This being the final Halloween weekend, and I think the next to last weekend of the season here. Um, oh, look at those! Everybody sort of rolled in Daddy. on Friday. Look at that! Yep, look some decorations here. And there. Oh, that for the Mickey! Yeah, there's a Mickey Mouse on the other side. That person has a lot. That person has a lot, yeah. Even though it's free. That person has a pop up. That one has a pop up. Yep. We got pop up some bacon going. We're gonna actually snag uh, the restaurant here Saturday morning. Says so a pancake oh, breakfast, a five bucks. It's, just, it's pancakes and sausage, but for five dollars, pretty good deal without having to cook yourself. The playground. Yeah, and this is the the front. the front playground. And we shot some of this yesterday when we came over by the mini golf. But what we didn't get, and you'll get a little bit better of a, a view here. There's a straight ahead there is the registration building you where you go check in. We didn't bring our masks, so we can't No, go well, actually, I do have our masks in case we end up picking up breakfast before we come back. Oh. Um, and then the front comfort station there. And the, I don't know, it's hard to make out probably, but to the right of the registration station there is the Ranger Smith pool. It's the front pool, small pool. And again, you can kind of, you can kind of guess... Um, from how this park is laid out, and again, that's the small pavilion we showed you yesterday, that this was probably the original area of the park. You know, had a, just had a small pool at the front, and a wooded area with, with um, probably fewer cabins when it was first built. Daddy? Probably mostly spots. Uh, Dada? Yes. I have a question. Sure. Is there a boo-boo pavilion? There is not a boo-boo pavilion here. There might be some places, there might be some parks that have three pavilions. I love Boo-Boo. He's my favorite. Boo-Boo is the best. I um, even have a shirt that says Team Boo-Boo. And then when we were at the store, I saw a shirt that says Team Yogi Bear. Yep. So that's sort of the backside. Some of the original in the wooded area. Ooh, and now we're back by the mini golf. Um, so I think that'll wrap it up. At least from here. We are making our way to explore another thing. So there's one little trail, um, thing not a hiking trail, about. but one little um, sort of road. It was a trail uh, I'm guessing it might be dead end. Yes, the trail you were talking about might be a dead end. I think probably just RV sites. Um, it might be like a hiking place. We but we'll hike. check it out. And just so you set the scene, 
um, right next to the water zone here. Oh, there's a nice little, uh, oh, that's cute. Halloween decoration. And I'm going to zoom in because they got smart. Right. They have, so there's a site decorating contest that you can vote on. And they were smart enough to actually put vote 139 um, as part of their decorations. Their site 139. And so people will, won't just go like, oh, that's a cute site. They'll know 139. Um, I may need to cast my vote and just make sure that I vote for them since that was pretty smart. I would definitely vote that one with all that spider web, Daddy. Like, there was one wow. with all the spider Whoa. So this is... Yeah, these are some RV sites down here. Oh, it's kind of thing. And very narrow. Um, yeah. So, folks staying back here, I mean, they already have far more skill than I do um, in terms of parking an RV oh, and everything. Look, look. They got a kitchen but they got to be real careful. Come, yep, they got a kitchen on the side. I see a pop up down there. So this might be a little bit longer of a uh, of a path down here than I thought it was. It could be yeah, people could take their dogs down here. Yeah. For sure. Again, I mean, just... You look at the trees. Um, gorgeous really fall colors. The trees are really tall. Oh, that one's, like, still green. That one hasn't changed, huh? And that one's almost bare. That one hasn't. A lot of these ones over here haven't changed. Boy, this... This may go all the way down the length of the park towards the front. Mmm, yeah, it smells good, doesn't it? Yep, uh, pop up in RVs kind of all the way down, it looks like. Ah, I know where we are. Where? We saw this when we were playing mini golf, so. Towards the front here is going to be the back side of the golf cart storage. Oh, golf cart. You're really far behind. You're not that far behind. Yeah, because now I'm walking fast. It was definitely a nice little out of the way area. Mm hmm. Nice little out of the way area where you got a pop up or RV or tent back here. Um, pretty quiet. Even though you really, as we get towards the front here, you'll see we're on the back side of the mini golf and the registration desk, but certainly not a high traffic area in terms of golf carts going by or anything like that. Yep. Kind of curious as we get up to the front if we'll be able to just loop our way out walking-wise, probably. This is a workout for me. This is a workout. Because of my scooter. Because you're dragging the scooter around. It's not paved. So hopefully when we come up here, <laughs> this will loop back out and we can just get back to the paved road that we just walked down. <laughs> That's good. Well, hey, this was your idea. <laughs> we come back through here, and I, you know, I think worth the time. I mean, there's, oh, there's these the have got to be tent sites, I'd imagine. Maybe, maybe, all the golf carts. maybe pop ups, but I think these are probably tent sites. There's a lot of golf carts. Yep, and there's a golf cart storage. There's actually far fewer carts um, than there were the other day because everybody's here now. But that does tell you, again, this is a very walkable park. This park is pretty much full. Or close to it. Obviously, these sites are open. Oh, they um, well. Here, let's go and the fact that they still have... It looks like at least a dozen... Daddy, oh, there's some more up front. Yeah. Available carts. When we were yes. golfing, we could see it. Oh, yeah, the wishing... Yep, this was the backside. So, we, I think we can walk straight forward here, Ab, and we'll be able to get back through. Um, but, yeah, as I was saying, the, the fact that there's still cart availability when the park is full um, is a pretty good sign. One, that it's a walkable park. Um, and two, that if you do want a cart when you come here, you don't necessarily have to sweat it um, in terms of, oh, I better book my cart when I book my, my site or my cabin because they might sell out. Um, that's always a possibility, but I think there's some proof there that they've got carts to spare. Um, that's not true everywhere. Some, there's a, a ranger cart. Yeah, there's a ranger cart up front. Some of these parks... Um, you need to make sure that you book that cart well in advance. But here, um, you know, full park, still at least a dozen 
carts available. So, unless of course those are offline, I mean it's possible that they need to be repaired. But I hope they don't have that many broken carts at once. So I don't think that's the issue. I think they've got availability. I don't know how to say that. Yeah, that's the registration station. So that's the registration building. We've walked past a couple times. Oh, so this is good. Um, we've mentioned the Ranger Smith Pool a couple times on the. In this video but now we'll have the closer look again closed for the season obviously so you're not looking at much um, but this little dome here is the, the kiddie pool and then the ranger smith pool up front there um, yeah, it's a lot of leaves so you know we've mentioned a couple times water layout here is a little interesting because this is sort of the only um i don't want to call it normal but uh standalone pool and it is away from the rest of the water zone. And the, the the small pool in the water zone is also the, you know, sort of the exit for the water slides. So that does make things a little awkward. And they're putting in a lazy river uh, with the water zone to be a little bit small, but uh, in addition. But that is kind of the one thing, um, layout-wise, that's a little strange here. I don't think that this being by itself would be that strange, except for the fact that there isn't really a standalone pool next to the rest of the water zone. So in some parks, they might have a, a pool like this separated because it was the original pool um, away from everything else. But um, they usually would then have a typically a larger pool with the water zone. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola machine. Those are closed for the season. Uh, they've got the signs on them. And I think we're walking right into the sun right now. I don't know how that's going to come out. But there's a comfort station up here. Um, which again, because there's the pool here. Those are pretty plants. Pretty plants, yeah. Because there's the pool here. Oh, and some laundry. Daddy, they put Cindy Bear um, on top of women. Man, don't don't leave your laundry there for two days. I've got to sign up. You leave it there 48 hours, you're just gonna toss it out, which makes perfect sense. I mean, I don't. You think that you'd be missing your your laundry after two days? Daddy, Daddy, they put Cindy Bear on top of the women. Oh yeah, they got Cindy Bear. And then Ranger Smith. On the Smith. women's and, and Ranger Smith. Oh, and I do see this. So there's a couple in between there that are the, like, family style or accessible yeah. restrooms in between. They should have put Boo-Boo and Yogi. Should have put Boo-Boo and Yogi. Because they're kind of like a family. And there are um, a couple cabinets towards the front and then that building you see in the middle there. Whoa. And then that's the place where we got into Jellystone. I am having a tough time. I don't know why, but... Oh, Dad, should we show them the inside over here? There we go. We zoomed in. To, I um, love this bag. That little hut in the middle is... Sort of the... There's like a check-in hut. And when it's busy like this on the weekends, they'll have somebody manning that. So if you're driving into the park, you've got to show your, your wristbands and your, your parking tag. I yes. love this chair. Oh, you know, that is a cute bench. We'll it has bears there. and it says Jelly Stone. It does. And then there's a mask. They got some announcements up. The face mask, face mask announcement. And well, that's what I was referring to, well, making sure that you have all your identification when you're coming in and out this weekend. I think, well, I think we went for the deer, oh. from the deer trail. We did. So we were on that, that, we were on that back side of the deer trail. Um... And came out here about the registration station. This gives you some idea of the layout. Um, we might as well do this. I mean, y'all you, you, can look this up online easily. Same map, but where is our cabin? We are uh, I'm losing it. Fifty three, um, right there next to the Cindy Bear Pavilion. Oh yeah. And we went up by that back playground where there was cabins lining the volleyball court. And there was cabins lining some RV sites. That's up top. And down below here, uh, the pedal carts. And all RVs. A bark park. And there's sort of the center part of the campground there. Playing field, archery tag, pedal cards, laser tag. The center part with the water zone and the store. Oh! Restaurant. Boo Boo's Boot Camp. Yep, Ninja Course is in the back. And then you got your left side. Um, there's basketball. Again, what I think is probably part of the initial More uh, original here. park. Yep, there's a the basketball Because I remember hoop. basketball, and now it's at the Cindy Bear Pavilion. So we're there. So there's a map. Um, probably a good place to stop this. I think we've probably covered most of the park the Yogi uh, between Pavilion. yesterday and today. And you got your layout. Yeah, the Yogi Bear Pavilion is right at the front. They actually put Yogi. They actually put Yogi. So. And then the first one. <laughs> and the first one, the first couple cabins there. Yeah. That should do it. And 
this is the this is the registration station where you come to check in. Just pan around. Right at the front of the park. And one of the nice things they do here is actually escort you to your site. So we came in on Thursday and had someone actually um, guide us right to our cabin, which was very nice. I haven't had that before. So we mentioned these family style um, comfort stations earlier in the video and came back later in the day and we're just going to take a peek inside one. Yeah, looks a lot like the one in Quarryville. Um, as you can see, so these are self-enclosed bathroom ceiling fan in here. That's nice. Um, that is a very large um, shower stall, actually accessible um, because there's a little seat. There. Well, okay, not fully accessible. Um, there's the lip there, but there is a seat there which is helpful. Um, clothing or towel racks on the walls. Obviously toilet, looks like it hasn't been flushed. We'll leave that alone. Um, and sink, toilet paper, little um, mirror on the wall, but very large. Um, and again, you know, intention for families um, staying in a bathroomless cabin or tent site, uh, pop-up or an RV without a bathroom. And frankly, just overflow, um, this is, <laughs> This is probably, would fit two to three of the bathrooms in our cabin inside of one of these. So, um, again, these are like the family style comfort stations. They have a few of them at Quarryville. Um, I think Golden Valley has something similar. In fact, I think some of those are assigned um, down there for certain cabins that don't have bathrooms. So you have a private one that you actually have a lock and key for. Um, but definitely uh, a step above the kind of comfort stations you're used to. And maybe we'll walk down to one of the regular comfort stations as well. Okay, if you excuse the noise in the background, we got a leaf blower going. Um, but this is one of the more traditional comfort stations. It's a small one. Um, I think there's some larger near the water zone, but we'll walk in. Nobody's in here. I checked first. The lights were off. Um, obviously, the men's room. Um, a few toilets and sinks here. And then they got the shower stall with the divider curtain. Um, so you get a, well actually that's not a divider curtain. That's really all you got. A little bit of space here. Um, and then it's just the shower. So in terms of having a, chase, a space to change without getting your clothes wet, pretty difficult. Um, might be able to squeeze yourself between the, uh, the curtain there and the hanger, but that's why, that is why those um, family style comfort stations are a huge, huge advantage over the tradition. Real quick, we're in a regular comfort station at the front of the park. Um, we looked at the small one up the hill yesterday. And I do want to point out that these, the showers and these, they've got the separate changing space um, with the curtain divider. So you've got a place to, to get dressed to keep everything dry um, and then the shower back there. So the ones up the hill yesterday, we saw very little space between the um, curtain and the uh, stall door, accessible one here. So. Again, if you need to use the, the regular comfort stations, these would be the way to go. Of course, option A um, is those family style ones in the middle of the park. But just wanted to show everybody that to show that there are some, some shower stalls here that do have that separate changing space. And we're in the camp store. Some souvenirs. Camping decor. Oh, look, there's that. We've got that little metallic sign actually at home. Some toys over here. A stay at home dog mom. Okay. Home sweet home. ATM here. In case you're short on cash and you need cash. Although, I think pretty much everything here does take a card. So you don't have to have cash on there. Oh yeah, we gotta find the Cindy Bear plushie. Oh, they're right there. There's some toys, games, some shirts. We got snakes. Twenty-five percent off T-shirts. End of season sale. Oh, baby Cindy Bear. We're gonna complete the collection. I just, have, I just gotta get, just gotta get Ranger Smith, Smith next. Yeah. Next trip. Some socks. 
Lots of shirts. Oh, there's some Halloween merchandise. Oh, Halloween themed shirt. The Boo Crew. Boo Boo Crew. Boo Boo Crew. Halloween shirt. And you got your supplies. You need some bread, cereal, peanut butter, cooking supplies. Do you need to get any drinks? We probably don't need any drinks. Some fire starter supplies, charcoal. There's the cooler stuff. You got some cheese, some milk if we run out. Cold drinks. And ice cream. Some ice chips. Yep. And other types of Oh, they do have eggs in the cooler there. Yeah, they have eggs. Eggs and, and bacon. Bacon. I think butter. I think they got butter. And some more supplies here. Halloween or Halloween items. Some hats over here. Some of these shirts. Camp hair don't care. Camp hair don't care. Lots of different shirts. And some of these a little more grown up. They're socks too. We'll look at those. This one here. And these pullovers are real nice. What do we got over here? Ah, the tie dye. I like that one. We got some socks here. Cute. Different cute socks. And umbrellas. Plushies. Plushies. Lots of different t-shirts. Some are yogi related and some are not. There's snakes. Snakes over here. And again, you know, I've noticed some of the merchandise here is a little... They've got varying styles, so something that doesn't want to wear... Someone doesn't want to wear something that's cartoonish. Um, so this is a little more subdued. It does have a little yogi head in there. It's actually really cute. I like it. Um, but it's done sort of like a like a shield or logo like that. If you're a true fan, you'll see it. That looks... Mm -hmm. That's hot. Ah. Shoes. Campfire hoodie. Campfire hoodie. Oh, there's, some, there's the hats again. Yep. Oh, nice little fleece zip up jacket. We'll take a look at the Halloween shirt, the, the Boo Boo Crew. And eat, drink, and be scary. Some winter hats. Looks like it's a little chilly out. Candy. Candy at the register. Spin all the spin copters, yeah. Uh, I love these. Yep. You didn't bring mine though. No, we didn't. Yeah, we can yeah we're shooting this right before we leave. Um, but we it's wanted to show you. Birthday. It is. It's Michelle's birthday. We wanted to show you one and thing. Twin. And her twin, Aunt Laura, aka Aunt Wawa. Mm -hmm. There's a little 
pond, very, very little pond here, called Peggy's Pond. Oh, and loving memory of Peggy Orr. So it must be somebody who at one point ran the campground, maybe, or worked at the campground. And a little bench here. I don't know. I, don't, I didn't know her. Right outside the pavilion. So it's just a pretty little spot. Could a couple be a benches. Manager. Could have been a manager. All right, and we're off for one last playground trip.